all my flowers and welcome to Random Fairy Facts. I'm so incredibly sorry that there was no video for the last, I don't know, two months? Six weeks? I don't know. Far too long. Therefore I thought, okay, I need to make another video because I love making videos for you guys. So this time it's Random Fairy Facts. Fun fact, Stormy the Fourth also started uploading a series called Random Fairy Facts, so there are two fur tubers making Random Fairy Facts now, so I guess, I guess that's okay. The first fact is about Andrew Wilkes career. I don't know whether you know him, maybe you know him because he's the composer of the Jackass the movie soundtrack. He's also a musician with his own rock band. It started five years ago when he began identifying himself as a furry. There were also some rumors about him having a fursuit and owning a furry twitter account called Party Tiger and well these are not really proven but I've never seen a tweet or a statement of Party Tiger that he's not Andrew Wilkes career so hmm. He also even retweeted some post Andrew made so you can have your own opinion. For example, Andrew posted that he has his tank tops on sale with his Party Hard logo and 50 minutes later Party Tiger responded to this post showing his first sheet with his Party Hard tank top. What a coincidence! And what makes it even clearer is a post on his website where he's showing or saying that he has his own persona, that he's empathizing a lot with the furry fandom and that he loves the spirit and everything that's coming together with the furry fandom. So it's pretty obvious, okay, this guy's a furry, which is really cool because He's, I don't know, he's the composer of Jack as the movie. That's, that's cool. Hi, that's the way Chip Cody must have felt when he came out of nowhere with his gifts and animations and the whole furry fandom loved him for it. His animations are pure love. They are so cute and awesome. I love them so much. And the way he's spreading love and joy and I love it, I simply love it. And he also got his own first by, I think, Donna Cacti, where he's doing exactly the same. He's spreading joy and love, that's so valuable in the furry fandom, to spread love and joy and... Oh my god, Jip Cody, you do an awesome job. He even managed to get more followers on Twitter, like, for example, Nas Hyena, which is, wow, that's also a lot, because when I'm looking at myself, for example, I don't even got 1k Twitter followers. You can follow me on Twitter, link is in the description, would be awesome, I love you guys. <laughs> and to show you what he does, there is an awesome animation he did for Midwest Fur Fest. I'm gonna show you a few seconds of it. You can see the whole video in the description, so enjoy these few seconds, I love it. topic, Kira the Wolf and Zoophilia. Oh my god, you know, and I know, we, we all know that we don't want to talk about this topic any further as it goes now. It, it's getting too far at the moment and I'm wishing for Kira the Wolf to stop but I think, as I did a video on my German channel, I need to state what, what happened to let you know what exactly happened to Kira the Wolf. There were chat logs, pictures and videos where people stated that Kira the Wolf is a zoophile. That's the main point. And what Kira did was a mistake, I think. At first she said, okay, these chat logs, these pictures, these videos, they are all fake. Someone hacked into a Telegram account and posted all these messages and stuff and whatever. Later, in Cothric's video or beforehand, he was saying that, okay, these chat logs are real. And in another video, he again claims that, no, these chat logs are fake. I, as someone who watched what happened or tried to make an opinion, well, what shall I believe now? Shall I believe, okay, these chat logs are real and he really posted them? Or shall I believe, okay, these are all fake, someone hacked my account. The result was very hard for him. There was a really big drama wave around him. He lost a lot of subscribers on YouTube. I think a lot of people don't believe him anymore, don't like him anymore. And I can understand both their side and his side. But he should have told the truth at the very beginning. Maybe this would have avoided a little conflict. I don't want to have an opinion regarding whether he's zoophile or whether he's not. That's not what really bothers me. I hope for him as a person and for the whole furry fandom that this whole drama won't exist in a few weeks or months anymore so that he can continue to live his normal life. And Kira, if you see that, I suppose you won't, but if you see that, I'm hoping for you that you're gonna get back to normal life and don't think about this topic for too long again. Fourth fact, there was a coincidence on my German channel. There was a video in the German YouTube trends that's called Hilf mir jung pleite verzweifelt. So translated into English, help me young, out of money and desperate. I think that's kind of a translation for it. Where it's about desperate and or young people who need help. And this time it was about a person needing help from furries. Which doesn't mean that furries were attacking her and stuff. Furries were the people helping her when she's got problems with her husband. The problem here is that these furries all look like mascots. They look 
really weird. The whole video is pure cringe. It's really, it's hard to watch. Here in Germany we watched it. This video has more than 500,000 clicks. That's way too much for a video that portrays furries in a bad light. Therefore I made a reaction video on my German channel trying to help people understand that furries are not that cringy, that they are not just customized people who love to cuddle everything and behave like cringe and are not normal people. Because we are normal people and I wanted people to see that and I hope I was able to manage that. So this video was in the trends on place 7, the 7th most clicked video for or the most important video for this week. And this shouldn't happen. Not when it's a cringy video that no one should watch. Really. <laughs> you can see both videos in the description. Unfortunately they are German and I don't know whether English subtitles work. But just look at these fursuits. They are so horrible. They are s I wouldn't even call them fursuits. They are pure mascot costumes and they look so horrible. The last fact is about Joaquin Baldwin. Maybe you know who he is. Maybe you don't. He was the guest of honor at Eurofans this year and as far as I've seen he has also been the guest of honor at Antrocon. He is an artist and illustrator and also participated in Zootopia. A lot of people believe that he's also a furry but in contrast to Andrew it's really unsure whether he is a furry or not. He drew a picture for Rio Grey Fox where it shows that fursuiting and furry in general changed his life and made him a little happier and he was really empathetic and caring in this case. And what might be a little proof or kind of a proof is that in a furry Facebook group there was a post about him making a video about real cheetah noises about uh, I forgot how this name was from the big cheater and someone posted this and he even responded in a furry Facebook group which means that he might be part of this group but what also needs to be said is that you can comment to post in this group even when you're not in this group so there might be a person who sent him this post and he just responded to it which doesn't mean that he necessarily has to be a furry. It looks like he is not even just interested. He might also be a furry, but he never really said whether he is or not. So guys, that was my video. I hope you like it. I'm so happy to be back again talking with you about stuff that happened in the furry fandom and everything. I'm trying to make more videos for you guys soon. On top of me, you're able to subscribe to my channel and also you can like my video. That would be so awesome. On the right, you get to two more videos. I hope you're having a nice and awesome rest of the day, week, or whenever you're watching this video. Stay possum and fluffy. Bye bye.